Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this really quick video I'm going to show you how you can configure a setting in Google Calendar so you can get email notifications about events in another person's calendar. So why would you want to do this? Now this is particularly good if you're an EA or you're in a role that is involved in managing another person's calendar and you actually need to see when they're invited to an event or perhaps when people that they've invited to an event decline or accept or that kind of thing. So you can actually do that by changing a setting in Google Calendar and this means you'll get emails for those other person's invitations and that kind of thing. So to do that, all you need to do is jump into Google Calendar, come up to the settings cog and into settings. And then on the left here, you'll notice the first thing is that we're in general settings, but where we want to be is down in the settings for my calendar section down here. So here are the settings for your own calendars if I was to click on my own name, but I want to actually click on the other person's one. So let's imagine that Darcy is my imaginary boss. I'll click on him and just scroll down a little bit and we're looking for this section here, other notifications. And as it actually says, receive email notifications when changes are made to this calendar. So if I wanted to get an email every time Darcy is invited to a meeting, I would change the new events one here to email. If I wanted to get one when um, there are changes to the events that he's invited to, again, I'd set that to email. If I wanted notifications when events are cancelled, again, email. And this one here, event responses. So if you want to see for the events that perhaps you pop in Darcy's calendar or he pops in, inviting other people in to them as guests, if you want to see if those people accept or decline those events, you can set this to email. Now you can also see event responses um, in the event itself so just be conscious of the amount of emails you might get for that. If you are working with large events you might want to leave that to none and look at the event itself. Um, if you're not dealing with large events and it's really crucial you see that quickly you might want the email. So there you go, no need to save, that setting is now done. You can just click the back arrow up here and you're back to Google Calendar. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.